do some numbers. Give me the give me the four numbers. Start with monthly income. So eighteen like uh eighteen hundred every two weeks. So yeah, eighteen times two. <clears throat> I don't know I don't know and, math. <laughs> oh, okay. Eighteen hundred. I got it. So <laughs> so so thirty so thirty six, okay. And what's expenses? Uh, uh, twenty eight hundred. All right, total debt. Just using that Um, I have a fifteen thousand dollar personal loan and a five thousand dollar student loan, and then just like uh utilities and stuff. So twenty thousand total debt. Right. Beautiful. This okay. Is, this is easy. <laughs> Compared to a lot of people watching, <laughs> um, and okay, so cash flow is, I can say, a safe six hundred dollars a month. Yes. Yes. All right. the The fifteen k loan. What's the monthly payment on that? And then what is the monthly payment on the student loan? The fifteen is at one eighty eight, and the student loan is one forty five. Okay, we're tackling the the five k first, so that we can immediately get that one forty five cash flow increase. So what you follow? Can, oh, okay. So what you can do is your option is to apply. Ask them for an increase on the checking line of credit to, uh, you know, anywhere from like 7 to 10K. Or you can go and get a personal line of credit if that's what you want for maybe a little bit higher, maybe like 10 or 15,000. Okay. What is the interest rate on this checking line of credit? Well, right now, when I called them yesterday, they already upped me to 20000 That's what I'm saying. Oh, and okay. The they gave you twenty k. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And then the interest rate is 11.24% because they said I was a B, and in order to get the lower rate, I would have to be an A, and I'm at 710 or no. Six, six, six eighty or something like that. Uh -huh. But it's like seven ten. It maybe changes over. B is up to seven ten. That's what she said. Okay. So we got twenty k class, twenty thousand dollar line of credit. We're gonna make a five k chunk. Increase our cash flow from. 600 being conservative to an additional 145 so now we're at 745 so we've got all we did is we immediately shifted this 5k to the checking line of credit so that's our new balance right that's the chunk We got 36 going in, right? 2,800 minus a 145. We got 2,655 coming out, okay? Follow me so far? Yeah, I'm with you. Cool. So I owe 5K on the line of credit after making my chunk. So you can you can literally make this chunk either tomorrow and then going into the new month, you're going to have this new money coming in of, of the $3,600. Okay. So we've got uh -huh. 36 going into that 5K, brings the, down, brings the balance down to 1400 owed. Expenses come out 
2655 brings the balance somewhere around 4055 and now we want to factor in cost okay so if i originally took out 5000 times that by 11.24% that's $562 for the whole entire year so we're not going to owe this for the whole entire year, right? So we got to divide it right. by 365 days. We're paying a dollar and 54 cents a day, let's say. All right. Times that number by 30 days. The most that you'll pay in interest in a month's time period of putting in all your income, taking expenses out, the most that we're looking at is $46, right? The most. It's going to be less. It's going to be less because there's going to be days where you don't owe five grand. You're going to owe 1,400, 2,800, 3,000, and then towards the end of the month, it should end up around 4055 right okay so that'll be end of february okay mm -hmm. wow and okay. now we do it again income expenses right so with the added cost of i'm just going to say the 46 i'm going to highball it so 4055 you add the 46 bucks. We're at 4101 minus $3600 brings the balance down to 500 bucks. Add expenses 2655. Now we're at 3156 owed. Now, here's the indication that you have the ability to make another chunk. Micro chunk. Yeah. Okay. I was going over this talking about micro chunking, but in your case, we're probably going to do a big chunk because all you have is this loan, right? Okay. So if your balance is at thirty-one fifty-six, but you're going to make thirty-six hundred dollars, okay? Here's how I'm going to determine your chunk. I'm going to take your conservative cash flow. I know you're going to be cash flowing more than this. I'm going to take that conservative cash flow, 745 times it by 6. That's about 5K. Okay, adding the 3K. All right, with a 20,000, I could use the two thirds method, right? Times that by 66%. The most that I'll go for you is a 13 thousand dollar chunk that's the most i'll go okay but i but i want to okay. go i want to go a little bit lower and just say hey let's just do like a like a 8k or a 9k chunk right okay. so if we do like eight thousand okay eight thousand dollar chunk towards this 15k but but Obviously, February, March, paying 188, and 188 is going to be down a little bit. Okay. So we make an $8,000 chunk towards here. Brings the balance. All right. We were originally at 3156, right? So 3156 plus 8,000. Balance is at 11,000. 156 okay minus income okay minus income of $3600 now we're at 7556 okay now for this specific month you're not going to have a 188 payment so, 
happens is that 2655 minus 188, your expenses for that month is going to be 2467 from, okay? And the balance is at 755, 7556 plus expenses of 2467. Our balance goes from the 11,156 back down to uh, 10,023. And do the same thing. Look at cost. What does it cost me to do that for the month? All right, because this is all March right here. So March will be a busy month for you. Okay. So we can say, okay, you take the 11,156 times that by the 11.24%. That's 1,253 a year. Divide that by 365. Now you're paying $3.43 a day times that by 30. Look at that. 100 bucks. And it's obviously going to be less than that because you're not going to owe 11,000 for the whole month, right? It's going to go down, it's going to go up. So this this 103 is going to be somewhere in between the 103 and the 46. It might be somewhere around like 80 bucks in interest. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Right, oh, and, wow. we, and we just keep yeah. doing it. So we're we're at the ten thousand oh twenty three, and you just keep doing it. Put in, come in, take expenses out, keep cash flow in. Do you uh, do you ever get any extra like you know like a bonus or a quarterly bonus or any extra money, anything that like that? Yeah, yeah. Actually, this is on the low end because I have funds going into other accounts. Okay. To, um, you know, just for like savings and stuff. So this is me working with the bare minimum right here. Right. So what you can do to, to enhance your results is simply redirect your savings, redirect money that you were investing temporarily. Just flow everything, mm -hmm. flow everything into the uh, checking line of credit. Mm -hmm. Right until the loan is wiped out so we're looking at i want to say definitely before the year is over that we wipe out 20,000 of debt in a 10 month period and that's wiping out 20,000 of debt and bringing the checking line of credit to zero within the year we could do that that's pretty okay. awesome. That's pretty awesome. All right. Right? Okay. You're pretty awesome. Thank you so much. 